Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Welcome to the Messy Mess. Yes, we're gonna be talking about the Messy Mess, the Messy Mess, the Messy Mess, the Messy Mess. Okay, we're gonna be broadcasting and showcasing Portia, allegedly. Why are you over there begging? <laughs> Bravo Entertainment and Andy Cohen. Girl, go to Zeus Net Network. Let them show all your ratchetness and its totality over there. Okay, and you probably can get to fighting over there as well. No holes barred. Girl, I need you to take personal responsibility of your actions. Them hands got to go. That anger has got to go. Know your role, baby. Know your role and play your role accordingly. And that's why you need to take some time off. You need to take some time off social media and any other projects you want to come out. Because your accountability is piss poor. You don't want to take advantage. You, you know what you did to your cousin on your pursuit of Portia. And I pursued a Portia. Well, he probably would have talked about her in the book too if you could. But uh, no, on your show. Look what you did to Dennis. You tried to make him look like a nut, a fool. Uh, 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 well, I don't know. Somebody crazy out there. You did it all on your show. Okay, that we gave you. Or the network gave you. And we as viewers supported you by watching and only thing we saw was a lot of partying a lot of drinking um not so much a uh, homebodiness with the baby girl we just saw you with the 60 year old man allegedly okay you need to be in your mama's uh forum because she's 64 you went around here and got a a uh, tattoo of yori's your boyfriend who has not become your family girl why are you down now at Bravo, how much uh, can you get your wedding special started? Can y'all start filming? Hell no! We don't want to see that. We don't want to see that messy mess, that fictitious mess. Okay, we don't want to see you elevate this man. Okay, on ratchetness. All right, go on and get married. You don't need no show. If you you, you say you moved out your house, left that to your mom. Okay, and your grandma and, and your granddad. Okay, but mostly your mom. You was highlighting on. I mean. Diane over here telling your business allegedly because that's what Mama Gina said. I got the information from your mom that you cheated on my son. Why are you talking about cheating and you can't forgive him for cheating? You know, he ain't the only cheater. She said you were the cheater, Portia. Well, is that true to that baby? Is that true? Now you're trying to sell us a pipe dream of we supposed to really believe y'all in love, you and Simon, and y'all really want to get married. Hell, he'll be in there. Shit. You got that coming to the TV special we already just saw, which was a, a disaster at best, okay? Your book, second, was a disaster at best. And like, what do you else you want to strike out? Because you just lost your job on this nation as well as Real Housewives of Atlanta. You just threw caution to the wind because you thought this spinoff show of Portia Family Matters was going to take you to the bank and you keep cashing them. What they say, not Trump checks, but Portia checks, okay? You and Nene need to go on over to the Zeus Network. Stop begging Bravo and its entity to take you back. You don't need Bravo, girl. You done graduated. Go on over there to Zeus and set your, 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 your um, we call it, your demands with them. Because I'm like, Mama Bertha, you're doing too much. Doing too much, child. You ain't got no business um, since 2015, I think it was, that you've been on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I be damn, I'm with Miss Burke, but I be damn if I'm going to beg somebody back for my job or give me a spinoff, okay? Because you need to rest, honey. We don't want to see your family and you trying to parlay. We need you to be a change maker, like canned over there. Breaking bread, spinning bread, making bread, okay? You see what I'm saying? Breaking bread, spinning bread, and making bread. Okay, I'm talking about them dollar bags. I'm talking about them green bags, okay? Then you got somebody like uh, Auntie Bertha saying... You just came up with this shit. It was a sham. It was a, it was a scheme, girl. You just brought us this bullshit with your show. Portia found the mouth. Well, you knew it was bullshit. And you knew it was... Well, you probably didn't know. Because you, 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 you forgot about the 365 days within a year's time. And you was going to have us riding to freedom on that choo-choo train of a railroad track you thought was on the ground. Girl, we ain't forgot about all that silliness. But you said you was kind of scared. 
but you always liked the camera when you was a child. You was always fascinated and, and, and doing your role playing of selling expensive items to your uh, audience of your teddy bears or te uh, teddy bears and your dolls and stuff. Trying to sell them shit. Now you're trying to sell us that you getting married to Simon the child really in love. We don't want to see that. We don't. We don't, girl. We don't. We don't. If you go to rehab or you go a part of anger management and we see those counseling sessions, something like that, that may be interesting. And that may be a repairment for all the wrongs you did. Like, you know, you already plastered as being a woman still, a man still, a home wrecker, uh, 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 you know, fooling around, a mistress. You know, that's you, Portia. That's what you showed us. And you came out trying to tell us it was your choice. You chose that man. No, girl. How we looking at it? You as a home record. Then you got us on this show, Portia Family Matters, sitting up here on talking. You supposed to have been talking about activism and showcasing your auntie. And that came out to be a train wreck. All thing you were doing was brawling over there. Throwing them hands. You see how them hands are up? And even your boyfriend can't keep you a hole. He probably catching breath. Like, where's my oxygen tank? <laughs> This woman don't roll me out, and we not even in bed, okay? Woo! And then you're going up there being an activist about Black Lives Matter. Then them folks allegedly wanted you to apologize. Hell, your even aunt from the Jose Williams Food Bank Organization wanted you to apologize. You say, I ain't apologizing for nothing. I ain't got nothing to apologize for. I'm going to always defend my family and myself. <laughs> Of course, we ain't talking about putting hands on people, baby. We ain't talking about putting hands on people, girl. And stealing people husbands. Get out. I can't take it. You too much. You too much. But no, girl. We don't want you over the big and bravo for nothing. Okay? You messed up that bag. You messed up the opportunity because you can't keep your hands off, folk, girl. Don't nobody want to see that. And then just how you just destroy your family members. Okay, and they still ain't talking to you from what the streets are saying. I don't know how true it is. But you should have got her know when you pulled Kenya Hall and pulled her down to the floor. I don't care if she was throwing all these props at you, her megaphone, as well as her, uh, we call that, um, her serpent. Not serpent, but her scepter. Yeah, <laughs> one of them reunions, girl. Girl, I thought you had to tell them, well, I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to leave the couch until y'all tell uh, Kenya Moore to take them props. Okay? Take them props off the stage because it's not it's it's not messing good. I, I want to put my hands on, okay? So y'all need to straighten that out before I come back, okay? Because that's this is a, this is a determinant. That's just a distraction for me, okay? But uh uh I ain't gonna laughing at you, girl. Like you you still ain't got it right. And you're right, maturity does always come with age, but sometimes it manifests itself in in in, in you, you. And you don't necessarily have to be taught it. It's just you've been watching other people and how they come and go. And you just develop the maturity. But you way from that point. You're 40 years old. Girl, you ain't going to have it. <laughs> I don't have no hope. So you have it. Okay? Girl, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired of you depending on your your face and your body. It's so vain. Such a vain existence to live in, Portia. But that's your world. But girl, no. Why are you over there begging? Why are you over there begging Bravo for a spinoff of marriage um, special <laughs> part two of Founders Matters? No, girl. No, those opportunities have been burned. Okay, and, and, and raked up and thrown in the trash of public opinion. We don't want it, Portia. We don't want it. I don't want it, girl. I can't speak for myself. I can't speak for nobody else. But I don't want it. I don't want to see your family back on TV with you. Uh, you don't work well and play in the sandbox well with producers that you're working with. Hell, they probably won't come back pay and want to be self-assured that if you pick up anything, they're going to stop filming immediately because they ain't got time to go to the hospital. Hell, hell, I probably don't have health care insurance. We don't know. Okay? The viewers of the show, <laughs> they read it. Hell no, they don't want to see no special. They don't want to see no false narrative written. They don't want to see another Portia Family um, Matters uh, season two. We don't want it, Portia. You may want it to continue to live in a lifestyle that you're accustomed to, but we don't want it. We want you to go get another profession. Because I'm with Miss Bertha. This is too much. You too much. It's all for the negative. TV is not doing you no justice. You need to go to the soap opera world where you can play this uh, villain or as many personalities as you want to play. And, and you'll be right there in the right field because they don't expect for soap operas to be true. Even though sometimes it mirrors real life. Depending on what they're talking about. But girl, stop begging Bravo for a check. Stop it. No good comes out of begging. And you shouldn't be begging nobody. Your bank account should be looking real nice. Okay? 
Go on over there to Zeus Network, girl, and put your application in. And take Nene with you. But y'all don't burn so many bridges. They can't be repaired. <laughs> they just can't be repaired. She over there talking about racism and boycotting Nene. And you talking about, oh, uh, out here, you just tearing up your own brain. <laughs> they ain't did nothing to you, really, per se. Uh, but probably negotiating more money, <laughs> which we can always ask for the moon, but we still, no, we can always ask for the stars, but we might only get the moon, baby. We only might get the moon. Woo, child, but, um, and then I hear you don't fell out with some executives, some real EPs. <laughs> They're like, we ain't touch y'all. We don't talk to our legal team, and that's a no go. So, uh, I don't know if it's on. Total hold, <laughs> or it's on semi hold, but the whole thing that it's on hold, girl, go find another network to be a part of. Go make some movies with them. Hell, since you want to be an actress, Lifetime, I always got something on them. On the Oprah Winfrey uh, team, they got stuff over there as well. You're well known, <clears throat> they know you, Porsche Wheel, they connect you straight to Bravo. Okay. <clears throat> straight to bravo and um just would do anything for some change okay anything for some change so girl honey they say you were worth six million i read somewhere <laughs> i don't know if that's in the assets you have or that's money in the bank i'm pretty sure it's more so assets you have like your home uh any other cars you may own uh maybe jewelry maybe um some investments your portfolio stocks and stuff of that man that may be the whole subject of the um million in your bank not necessarily you have six million whole card cash whole cold I mean, cold hard cash okay but y'all i got this uh story from i think his name is hustler and housewives i i don't shout him out so many times i tell you i, I love going over there see what he got coming up what he got stewing up brewing up okay child but that was a hot mess when he said that's all hell now my girl ain't over there begging for work no nah, we don't beg for work we, we a boss remember we make work come to us we create and take ideals our ideologies to them we don't go begging no girl i'm telling you hook up with candy birds she's doing something right i don't know if she's going on that totem pole of a ritual thing being going on because i've been seeing some checkerboards and her thing too and some questionable behavior she's been having but that's for another video for another day but y'all she must be doing something right because she keep getting spinoffs she keep getting other uh avenues to make money and whatever she's got already that she produced her brands and her products still making money i don't know i'm not in that sex tour world so i couldn't even come up to even gather to want to go and find out how she's stocking up and stacking up with that brand of hers then she got candy coated nights i do believe i mean she's just everywhere okay everywhere and anywhere and i can't blame her she hustling because i'm pretty sure when she get 50 and 60 she's gonna be slowing down hopefully she will be one of the artists out there that truly do take retirement serious and look forward to you know spending time with her kids her grandkids and stuff of that nature uh because whew, excuse me i'm bertha and aunt nora and her mom are getting old even though it seems like all of them been drinking from the fountain of youth honey they done tapped into something it's like they're aging backwards i mean it, it's old saying i always saying black don't crack okay and that's the truth that's the true thing girl now unless we don't been through some stuff <laughs> <laughs> and we looking rough child we done been through some stuff okay but i'm still showing i'm and saying we still beautiful we still beautiful but we have them hard frowns and them wrinkles in our heads and around our eyes we done been through some shit okay and we them war wounds right there they can tell us stories wisdom dropping off them folks okay but that's all i had guys i just had to come to you with another comeback Woo, we had to do the messy, messy, messy. So when we're doing the, the uh, welcome to the messy mess, we're going straight on into it. We can't hold it for why you telling my business. Don't be telling my business because I can't, can and I can't, 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 can't. Uh, we, we can't say that story for that. We just got to go right on in. Like how they say, you just turn it, um, skillet on, throw that bacon in there and just let it start frying. <laughs> Cause we hungry. We can't wait for no grits. Nope. Just put the butter toast in that uh toaster real quick we only got seconds to tell this story 
So look forward to more of those and more entertainment news on other celebrities other than what I usually report on. It would always be on the Welcome to the Messy Mess. Welcome to the Messy Mess. Welcome to the Messy Mess episode. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.